role is to help you remember this stuff. Well, you know? I, 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 I tell you, like, you know, how many times do we get asked, like, what was it like at Woodstock? And so, <laughs> you know, I came to the conclusion today because we did an interview earlier. I came to this conclusion all by myself that anybody that was Woodstock, at Woodstock was in a time warp. It was kind of cosmic. And when you left, you don't remember a thing. And I believe that's true for everybody. And anybody that tells you different is lying. <laughs> because that was a big deal. And I don't remember very much. You, Greg? I remember quite a bit of it. You know, I, oh. I, I do. And I was there. <laughs> there goes my theory. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you a memory of Woodstock. Um, Well, no, uh, that wasn't my memory, but um, <laughs> it was this, that the, the thing was going on, everybody, it was a little crazy, and <laughs> Sly was supposed to go on, at Sly and the Family Stone at 8.30 or something, 8 PM, yeah. and, but what I remember is, he refused to go on until they paid him in cash. <laughs> Is that why we didn't go on till three? Yeah. I, I remember being there, there and like getting the buzz about this thing. And I thought, damn, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Jake, Jake, we have another question over here. Uh, yeah, I used to hear Bill Graham tell stories. Uh, he was a big dancer at the Palladium before he came west. But he told a story about he got a little frustrated with these uh, big rock bands it was like this. I'm sorry, who are we talking about? Bill, Bill Graham. Bill, okay. Yeah, so he got a lot of, little frustrated with these big rock bands that would have this obligatory drum solo. Yeah. That would go on and on in the middle of the yeah. act. And so, I, I, I'm with him. Yeah, so he booked Buddy Rich at the Fillmore to uh -huh. open up for 10 years after yeah. to kind of like show the drummer of 10 years after yeah. how it was done. I was wondering if either you guys were at that show or knew about that or you know, that situation. I wasn't at the show, but I was a huge Buddy Rich fan. And um, another show that my brother Kevin and I went to at the Sheraton Hotel in Palo Alto, um, like when we were 16 and Buddy Rich was playing. And, and he came out the door and I introduced myself. I studied out of his book and stuff like that. And also in the big band in San Mateo College, we played some of the Buddy Rich, like when the West Side Story stuff came out. Um, I was blown away. Um, but he came out and he invited us in. Like he took us down. Do you remember that? Some you don't remember finally. Okay. Down in the front row, got us seats. And what I remember after being blown away was he stood up afterwards and he was in such intense pain in his back. He had to like kind of crawl against the wall in the back just to walk but he played his ass off. Um, that's a great, that was a great move on Bill Graham's part. I, after a while, I really, like, I don't like playing Soul Sacrifice now so much, you know, because it's like, I, I don't know, the solo, you know. The, it's magic moments, and, you know, you, you don't try to recreate them all the time, you know, because, anyway. What was your question? 